Stay tuned for Fixing the Money Thing with Gary Cassie. God has a vested interest in your prosperity. I want to ask you today, are you astonished at your life? I think God would make a pretty good partner in business Definitely. and in family and Definitely. life. The Bible says the net's about broke and their boat's about sank. How many like to go to the bank that way? Honey, can you call a semi-truck? I can't haul it in my car. You know, we got to get this down to the bank. The Power of Partnership, today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to another edition of Fixing the Money Thing, where we like to talk about your money and help you fix it. You know, Gary, everybody's scrambling for money. Oh, yeah, They're looking course. for answers. They're looking for Takes someone money. to help them, whether yeah, it's the yeah. government, a relative, right. the lottery. You know, people play games right. of chance. They're doing something to try to get that you know, once for all fixed, but there is a partner that we can have in life that is that fix, isn't it? Amen, and his name is Jesus, and God is your source, but how do I partner with God? God has a vested interest in your prosperity, you winning in life. You know, there's no, there's no claim to fame in being broke and poor and, and just, and, you know, sick, and I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, your own kids bear your name and wherever you go, your reputation goes. And God's kids, his children, he wants to make sure they look like him, that they're blessed, they're healthy, and that they can then reach out and touch people. Well, I'll tell you what, if I was looking for a partner, someone to help me in life, I think God would make a pretty good partner in business Definitely. and in family and Definitely. life. Well, we and know that to be a that. fact because we've done that. We were destitute until we found out that God cares and then more important than that, we actually found out legally how do we partner with God and how it impacts our life. Today on Fixing the Money Thing, Mysteries Revealed, the mystery of partnership for you and God working together. Be right back. And now from Faith Life Church, Gary Cassie. I want to jump into a topic that's dear to your heart today, if that's okay. It's your money. We haven't really taught about money for a while, and I think we need to uh, because you spend every week going after it. So I just want to help us get focused again a little bit on this. Look at Luke. Start with verse number one, chapter five of Luke. One day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret with the people crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water, let down the nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night. We haven't caught a thing. But he, because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. Now, when Simon Peter saw, he saw this, he fell at Jesus' feet and said, Go away from me, Lord, I'm a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were his partners. Now, Jesus then calls him and says, Don't be afraid, follow me. And in this story, we find a couple interesting things. First off, these were professional fishermen. They had fished all night and caught nothing. So they weren't too excited about that. But then they caught such a large catch that they were all astonished. I want to ask you today, are you astonished at your life? Are you astonished or are you going through the motions? Now, these fishermen were obviously going through the motions. They, there was no profit. They had the formula. They were professionals. They were doing their part. But how many know that if you don't get ahead, if you don't see some progress that eventually you get kind of tired emotionally. You kind of lose 
the joy of getting out, up in the morning. You know, if you're, you're going to a job you despise, you're just make, barely making your bills, I mean, that's okay for a little bit, but if year after year goes by and you never can quite break out of that debt syndrome, and you know, how many know that's just a little discouraging and you begin to lose the, the joy of life? Now, these guys were there. As a spiritual scientist, I want to know how to catch the fish they caught. Because I believe that God's desire for you is to live a life so astonishing. Not only are you amazed and thankful and full of joy, but those around you see that as well. Isaiah chapter 61 says God's plan for you is that you're an oak of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Meaning that there's people reading your life. You see, they don't see God. God's invisible. They can't see God. And so if, they, if they're going to see God, how are they going to see God? What did Jesus say to Philip? Philip said, show me the Father. Jesus said, you've seen the Father, you've seen me. Now, the Bible says you are the ambassador of the kingdom of God. So what are people, how do people see God? They see God in you, the church. And if they don't see God in the church, where are they going to find him at? I mean, why would they want God if they don't see any difference in the church than anyone else? So there's got to be a reason. In other words, this Bible is written to instruct us. This story is here to help us understand how to get from no profit and labor to being astonished and where do I deposit all of the fish? Because the Bible says the net's about broke and their boat's about sank. How many like to go to the bank that way? Honey, can you call a semi-truck? I can't haul it in my car. You know, we've got to get this down to the bank. Well, that's our goal. But there's some things we want to learn in this story. So number one, Jesus was walking along the shore and found the boats there. He had a desire to preach to the people, so he borrowed, took the boat. Peter gave him the boat to use, and he went out and preached from it. And when he came back in, he told Peter, Peter only, to go out and fish. But he told him where to fish, didn't he? Go out into the, the deep water. You know, all you need from Jesus is a word of direction. See, Jesus is a good fisherman. He knows all about you, all about what you need, and all you need him to do is tell you where the gold coin's at, how to, where, what you need to do, right? Just need him to tell you. That's a very important point. But you see, Jesus borrowed the boat and something dramatic happened. You can't see it in the natural. But when he borrowed the boat, the business, if you will, changed governments. Now, Peter didn't realize that's what's happening, but when he borrowed the boat, he came back in and then told him where to fish. What gave him the legal right to tell him where to fish? What, except that Peter had given him the business to use, and when he took possession of it, it came under the jurisdiction of the government of God. It came out from the government of men under the government of God. Do you see that? Which gave Jesus a legal right to receive from Father, or I should say, gave Father a legal right to place into Jesus a word of knowledge about where the fish were at. Now that part we understand, that God was involved with that, but what I want to focus on are his partners. His partners were still on the bank. When he began to catch the fish, Peter called them out. And they also caught so many fish, their nets almost broke, and their boats about sank. So now both boats were about to sink. But my question to you is, and we've covered this before, but we're going to cover it more today in a different sense. Why did their boat fill up with fish? See, I've got to find that out because how much faith did they exercise for their catch? Everyone say zero. If you read the story, Jesus said to Peter, took Peter's boat out. Peter said, we fished all night. It's not very good. We're professional fishermen. Haven't caught anything. But because you say so, we will. He went out and tapped into the grace of God and caught the fish. He called his, and the word is recorded twice in the narrative, his partners out. So what does that mean? That means they were legally, in a sense, tied together. They were partners in the business. Now, if two people are married, by law, they're viewed as an entity. If a corporation is viewed as an entity, though many thousands of people, or a partnership has many people, it's still viewed as an entity. See, in a partnership, you're looked at one as one thing. So when God blessed Peter, when Peter gave him the boat, he essentially gave him the business because in partnership, what you have is mine, what I have is yours. So John and James' boat belonged to Peter, just like 
Peter's boat was part of their business. You see what I'm saying? Because they were what? Help me out. They were partners. So when God filled Peter's boat, he legally had to fill their boat because they're one. They're all together. They're partners. So they went out and they caught so many fish, their boat about sank as well. Because they were what? Partners. All right. So they tapped into the grace that Peter enacted, not them. They did not exercise faith. Agreed? Everyone to see that they, had, they did not exercise any faith except they were obedient to harvest where they were directed to harvest. All right, let's hold on to that thought. Let's go to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10 shows us another interesting story kind of like this about harvesting and about, about our money. Verse 5 of chapter 10 of Matthew. Jesus sent out the 12 disciples with these instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, preach this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Notice these are all spiritual things. The kingdom, the spiritual kingdom of God is doing Freely you have received, freely give. But verse 9 kind of throws a question in my mind. Verse 9 says, Do not take along any gold or silver or copper in your belts. Take no bag for the journey, no extra clothes, tunic, or extra sandals, or a staff, for the worker is worth his keep. Now wait just a minute. Jesus is sending them on a mission, but he says, Take no provision." So how are they going to survive? He's going to take the rest of the chapter explaining their mission, explaining some things about the kingdom, but drop down to verse 40 at the end of his discussion. He says this, He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives the one who sent me. Anyone who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And anyone who receives a righteous man because he's a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. If anyone gives a, even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones, because he is my disciple, I tell you the truth, he will certainly not lose his reward. So he's telling them some principles of this journey. We have to define some terms. What does it mean, receive a prophet in the name of a prophet? And you'll have exactly the same reward a prophet does. Or receive a righteous man. What does the term mean, receive? It doesn't mean, how you doing? Does it mean just have a handshake? Good to see you, prophet. Is that what it means? No, what it means is, remember, they took no gold, remember? So he's saying, whoever receives you, receives me. What does it mean, receive? But those who take them in, those that are willingly supplying their provision. See, it's not a matter of just an acquaintance, just a matter of how you're doing. It's a matter of, hey, I believe in your mission. I believe in your assignment because of God. Let me provide for you. Stay in my house. Whoever receives you provides, invest in your assignment has exactly the same reward. Why? Because they've actually partnered. Do you see that? They've actually partnered on the assignment. And they have how much? Exactly the same. What did John and James have? Exactly, say the word exactly. Exactly the same reward as Peter enacted. And so if you fund, if you come into agreement with an assignment God's placed in the earth, and you receive that assignment, which means you don't just see it or recognize it or just acknowledge it in the sense you know it's there, but you receive it as yours. You take it on personally. Wait a minute, I believe in this assignment. I believe this is of God. And you partner with it. You become partners. And that grace is available to you exactly the same. The secret of success? Partner with God. More in a moment. Gary Cassie has a special invitation for you to partner with him and join Team Revolution at one of three unique partnership levels for an exciting year of ministry in 2013. God invites you to partner with him. The purpose of Team Revolution Partnership is to help mentor you in the kingdom principles that have revolutionized Gary and Drenda's life as they share strategies for successful living in your faith, your family, and your finances as you help bless countless others worldwide. 
Our lives and church have been revolutionized through Gary's teaching and mentorship. I thank God for my partnership with this ministry and expect it to bear much fruit. Thank you, Gary and Drenda. My life has been totally transformed by acting upon the kingdom principles you've shared. Partner with Gary Cassie, taking kingdom principles to the world. Get mentored for success. Join the team today and become a Team Revolution partner with Gary Cassie. As a Life Revolution partner, with your $20 or more monthly gift, or a one-time gift of $240, you'll receive Gary's brand new book, Kingdom Thoughts, Your Roadmap to a Successful Tomorrow, a monthly teaching letter of encouragement from Gary, a personalized get-out-of-debt plan, a 10% discount on all Faith Life Now resources, the new insightful Power of Partnership CD to release you into a new level of success in 2013 and much more. Or as a Destiny Team Partner for your monthly gift of $50 or more or a one-time gift of $600. Along with all the Life Partner benefits including Gary's new book and CD, you'll receive access to the exclusive Team Revolution website, a monthly webinar from Gary, a 20% discount on Faith Life Now resources and more. Gary is ready to mentor you. Call toll free, write, or log on and join Team Revolution today. As a special opportunity, become an inner circle partner with your monthly gift of $100 or more or a one-time partner gift of $1,200. You'll receive all the previous partner benefits plus live inner circle only webinars with experts to mentor you in business, leadership, and self-improvement. Free registration to all Faith Life Now conferences. A 30% partner discount on all resources. Gary's entire total financial success mentorship teachings. 38 CDs of life-changing instruction on a custom-made USB wristband, and so much more. Call toll-free 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write to Faith Life Now. Join the team. Get mentored in your faith, family, and finances as you live each day through the kingdom principles for success. Join Team Revolution today and partner with Gary Cassie to change your life while changing lives around the world. And our finances have been restored completely. Well, we continue to grow and things are It's changed. just amazing. Yeah, it's an amazing adventure that we've had because of all this teaching. Let's return to the auditorium of Faith Life Church for more of today's message, The Power of Partnership. I like to live an astonished lifestyle, wouldn't you? A lifestyle of overflow, that my boat's about sinking, you know. My wife's trying to figure out how to get the, to get the truck down to the bank, you know, or whatever. Uh, so, you know, if you've got a car broken, just what color do you want? You know, it's just, you know, money's not an issue to you. You're just you're about God's business. And, you know, what do we need at the house? Just go buy it. We're about this. This is what we're about. And I always say, until you fix the money thing, you'll never discover your destiny. Because you'll always be forced to run in slavery after finding money. So you've got to learn what you see in Luke chapter 5, folks. You've got to learn this. How did they pass from survival to abundance? You've got to know the principles that took place here. This is written to teach you the kingdom, the laws, the government of God. Whenever you see kingdom, it refers to government of God. You are part of that government. So you need to learn how this government works because the kingdom is your answer. Amen. Philippians chapter 1, Paul's letter to the church there in Philippi. All right, let's take a look at that one. Okay, chapter 1, Paul says in verse number 3, I thank my God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy. Now we have to understand this is special. Something's going on here. Paul is excited about these people. Do you have people like that in your life? Every time, every time, every time their name pops up, you just kind of get giddy. You kind of get excited. I love those people. I just love those people. I'm thankful for those people. I, such joy wells up in your life about those people. That's what Paul is saying. These people are special to him. And he says, I always pray with joy because of your what? What does the Bible say? Because of your what? Partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you since I have you in my heart, for whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. Now, there's something going on here. Paul is saying he's happy about these people because they partnered with him in the gospel. They're supporting his ministry. 
His ministry takes funding. He's on that assignment. He, he has to have funds to accomplish the assignment God's given to him. And so those that have come alongside to help are precious to him because he has a mandate from God in his life. And now God has raised these people up. And so there's partnership with Paul. But notice he says all of you. So in other words, there's two partnerships mentioned here. One is that body of believers in Philippi. They're all a body. They're all in partnership together. And so they're sowing as a church to him. Let's look at chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse number 14 says, Yet it was good of you and sh to share in all my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippines know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and what? Receiving. Giving and receiving. Except you only. Now you know why he was so excited about them. See, they'd given to him over, he says, over and over again. For even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent me aid again and again when I was in need. Not that I'm looking for a gift, but I'm looking for what may be credited to your account. I have received full payment and even more. I'm amply supplied. Now that I've received from Ephroditus the gifts you sent, they were a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. Now before I go on to verse 19, let's understand what's happening. This church is all in partnership. They're all one church. That's why he says all of you share in what? The grace that God has given me. Remember how John and James tapped into the grace that Peter had enacted through faith? All right. They shared in the grace. This is the same type of verbiage here. Paul is saying the grace that I walk in, the grace that I have on my life, on my ministry, you are now partaking of it because you have received me. Remember our definition of receiving. You receive a prophet in the name of a prophet. You have exactly, exactly the same catch. Paul is saying to them, because you have partnered with me, the grace of God that I stand in, this grace on what God has called me to do is now your grace. They have stepped into his grace just like John and James stepped into Peter's grace, not because of their faith, but because of partnership with Peter. And these guys are stepping into the grace that Paul has on his life because they've received him. The secret of success? Partner with God. More in a moment. Gary Cassie has a special invitation for you to partner with him and join Team Revolution at one of three unique partnership levels for an exciting year of ministry in 2013. God invites you to partner with him. The purpose of Team Revolution Partnership is to help mentor you in the kingdom principles that have revolutionized Gary and Drenda's life as they share strategies for successful living in your faith, your family, and your finances as you help bless countless others worldwide. Our lives and church have been revolutionized through Gary's teaching and mentoring. I thank God for my partnership with this ministry and expect it to bear much fruit. Thank you, Gary and Drenda. My life has been totally transformed by acting upon the kingdom principles you've shared. Partner with Gary Cassie, taking kingdom principles to the world. Get mentored for success. Join the team today and become a Team Revolution partner with Gary Cassie. As a Life Revolution partner, with your $20 or more monthly gift or a one-time gift of $240, you'll receive Gary's brand new book, Kingdom Thoughts, Your Roadmap to a Successful Tomorrow, a monthly teaching letter of encouragement from Gary, a personalized get out of debt plan, a 10% discount on all Faith Life Now resources, the new insightful Power of Partnership CD to release you into a new level of success in 2013 and much more. Or as a Destiny Team Partner for your monthly gift of $50 or more or a one-time gift of $600. Along with all the Life Partner benefits including Gary's new book and CD, you'll receive access to the exclusive Team Revolution website, a monthly webinar from Gary, a 20% discount on Faith Life Now resources, and more. Gary is ready to mentor you. Call toll-free, write, or log on and join Team Revolution today. As a special opportunity, become an inner circle partner with your monthly gift of $100 or more, or a one-time partner gift of $1,200. You'll receive all the previous partner benefits, plus 
Live, inner circle only webinars with experts to mentor you in business, leadership, and self improvement. Free registration to all Faith Life Now conferences. A 30% partner discount on all resources. Gary's entire total financial success mentorship teachings. 38 CDs of life changing instruction on a custom made USB wristband, and so much more. Call toll free 888 391 5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write to Faith Life Now. Join the team. Get mentored in your faith, family, and finances as you live each day through the kingdom principles for success. Join Team Revolution today and partner with Gary Casey to change your life while changing lives around the world. We've never heard anything like this before. Learn to operate under God's principles and His kingdoms, and that's where you're going to have find provision. A partnership that never fails. Today on Fixing the Money Thing. Jesus said to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things would be added to you. That's Gary, incredible. in Kingdom Thoughts, you help us to meditate on what God says about the kingdom, yes. about our finances, about our worries, our cares, uh, our scrambling to try to fix problems Absolutely. in life. And you do such a great job with it. There's a <laughs> grace on you to do that. Well, it's only because I've tasted and I've seen that it works. I mean, this isn't some religious thing. We've actually walked this out. So it's vital that you learn these principles. So I want to help you today with the, the book, of course, and a CD of this message you just saw, the full, the full version of it, powerful revelation of the kingdom that changed our lives. And of course, I want you to consider joining our team, becoming a part of our team revolution. Help us take the message of the kingdom, laws of the kingdom, the king's dominion across the earth. And that partnership is going to impact our ability to do what God's called us to do. It's going to impact the grace of God on your life because we have and share the same reward. And it's going to empower God's kingdom to advance. Boy, that's a win, win, win situation for everyone. It is. And so I want you to get the material. Call the number at the bottom of the screen or go to our website, garyc.com, and get the information. You need. Listen, we look forward to seeing you next time right here on Fixing the Money Thing, where we together are going to fix your money. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. Tune in each Friday at 5.30 p.m. for Drenda. Connect with special guests, discover life-changing topics, and learn to live life out loud. It's more than just television. It's Drenda. Want to know more? Read and comment on Gary's blog. Partner with Faith Life Now. Find out where Gary and Drenda are speaking. Send us your prayer requests. Order more life-changing resources. Find out what's happening at the NOW Center. Invite Gary to speak at your church or event. Watch archived Fixing the Money Thing episodes. All these things and more are waiting for you at GaryCasey.com. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton off of 161. Come home and experience new life at Faith Life Church. To invite Gary to speak at your next event, contact him at GaryCasey.com. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the generous support of the partners and friends of Faith Life Now.